In this video, I will show you how can you use an AI to analyze the stock exchange performance on a particular day. So if that sounds interesting to you, you should keep watching. So for the sake of AI, I have used all uh, the ChatGPT, the Bard, the Microsoft Copilot and the Llama, I think by Facebook. Uh, but out of all what I have, my analysis are that Copilot performance is best amongst all. So I would also recommend you to not use the Bard or ChatGPT, but use the Microsoft Copilot. So first of all, I'll use my own um, prompt and then we will ask the AI to give us the prompt to analyze the stock exchange so i'll just ask him a simple prompt that um give me the pakistan stock exchange market summary now you can see that uh, it has started to give us the market summary the status is closed the volume is mentioned the value the traders the indexes uh, KSE 100 index then all shares in KSE 30 and KMI 30 all are shown here that how are how have they performed now we are going to ask the chat GPT to give us the 10 prompts that we should ask uh, the AI to analyze the proxy on X stock exchange uh, today so I have asked him the same and now you will see that it will give me 10 prompts and then one by one we are going to feed the same prompt uh, in chat gpt and we'll see that how does it give us a performance and we'll see that how does it give us the output so my point is that uh, you should use the ai in every aspect of your life like uh, if i'm trying to uh, learn the stock change i will ask the ai to help me uh, do that so we are going to feed the uh, first prompt that is what are the current trending sectors in pakistan stock exchange today and why let's see that what does it say so this time it has given me the top gainers uh, this is what actually i was asking him and by just by rephrasing the a prompt you can ask uh, you can get the information from the uh, copilot so this is how you should use the ai instead of giving your prompt you even ask ai to give you the prompt that's the point now you can see that the top gainers are oil and gas exploration companies power generation distribution companies technology communication and commercial banks and then at the end there are food and personal care products so and at the end it has given um, it has answered the why also you can read it for yourself later on but i'm just going to go to the next prompt that is identify the top five companies with the highest trading volume in psx today and provide a brief analysis of their recent performance so we are going to ask the second prompt just stay with me and let's uh, collectively do this uh, research and you can use this if you're not interested in, in pakistan stock exchange you can use is if you're watching it from somewhere else you can use the same prompts for your stock exchange like if you're in the united states you can do it for the new york stock exchange so as per um, the copilot the top five companies are world call telecom then hum tv network then unity food limited bico petroleums and then pakistan international airlines this is uh, in terms of the highest trading volume right just keep that thing in mind so we are going to now go to the third prompt which stocks in the psx showed the most significant price fluctuation today and what could be the reason behind the movements let's see now this is a tricky prompt i think it is going to avoid answering the question but let's see so it has started to give me the answers so, so it said that the price fluctuation um, in towards the positive side uh, the on the top was miller tractors which uh, is, uh, whose price has increased by 40 uh, rupees 42 then gandhara industries honda atlas and then we have uh, agri autos and atlas battery basically in case of atlas it was a negative fluctuation minus 2.58 so anyways the aim is not to uh, dig into the stock market but to see how to use an ai to uh, analyze the stock market so you can later on dig into each of the companies but i'm just going to show you the next prompt now 
analyze the investor sentiments on the PSX today based on the social media discussion and news articles. So this is our fourth prompt. Let's see how does it perform now. And by the way, if you uh, even don't want to uh, invest in stock change, you can uh, let's say create a blog with the help of these uh, informations. You can create the YouTube videos uh, just like I am doing it uh, and you can help the others who uh, want to learn and probably they do not have an idea that they, they, they can use the AI for this purpose also. So it has given us some of the uh, feedback by scanning the news. But what I have read this, I think some of the news are not current. Like this Park Iran tension, uh, it happened some times back. This is not the current uh, news. So it uh, you can uh, take that with a pinch of salt and you have to do your own research also. But we'll move on to the next prompt. Who are the market leaders in PSX today and what factors are contributing to their leadership? Again, I think this is the top gainers or top performance in which I think it is going to highlight the Miller tractor first if I am right. So uh, it has not given any uh, specific answer but a generalized uh, analysis uh, on that it has given but again uh, without going into the details I am just going to move on to the uh, next prompt which is regarding the economic impact. How have recent economic policy change affect the PSX market today. Again, this is going to be a generic answer, but still we are going to see that uh, what does it give us. The point is that you should uh, uh, try your own prompts also and you should ask the uh, EA also. If you have some bit of knowledge of the investing or trading or and to be more specific about your own stock exchange or the different sectors in that stock exchange or the uh, company about the companies then you should uh, ask the questions about uh, specific questions about each of these topics so it has highlighted uh, recent economic policy changes have uh, impacted the Pakistan stock exchange market here is a summary economic contraction inflation and poverty the investor confidence and then IMF standby agreement market recovery and then uh, foreign investment and current uh, depreciations so we, we move on to the next prompt that is the sector performance compare the sector performance of technology sector versus the pharmaceutical sector in PSX today. So if you want to compare the two sectors, uh, rather you want AI to compare two sectors for you, you can just add their names uh, in here. This is an example technology and pharmaceutical. You can add your own and then let's see. This is going to be the, I think, uh, prompt that is going to help you the most if it gives us a good reply. So you can see here that it has uh, extracted the information from uh, the popular websites like the PSX own website and then sermaya.pk uh, and Urdu point etc. And from there it has given us the uh, uh, turnover market cap and performance of both these sectors. And at the end, it has also given us the summary. So it means that uh, it can help you uh, in this regard also. Now we are going to go on to the foreign investment. Assess the level of foreign investment in the PS today and its impact on the market. So we'll just take this prompt. We are left with two prompts. If you stay with me at the end, I'm going to show you how can you get uh, everything in one table. So you can see here that the level of foreign investments, it has already highlighted the points recently surge post IMF loan historical context and an impact on the market uh, that the market confidence has improved market performance has improved and political stability after the election is started to come in as per the AI now I'm going to the next prompt and that is technical indicators what do the technical indicators suggest about the PSX market direction for the rest of the week this is going to be a prediction but generally speaking uh, uh, the AI, generally speaking, these AIs do not give the future forecast, but let's see what does this um, do now. So as I've said that it has in general given, given us the 
uh, few factors that we should consider like moving averages oscillators and the pivot points, but it has not discussed the PSX specifically. That is what I was saying that generally the AIs avoid forecasting because they say that the if it becomes incorrect you, you can get uh, you can lose your money and then you can uh, let's say blame them for uh, for your loss so we are on to the last prompt that is earning reports analyze the impact of today's earning reports on the psx market sentiments and stock prices so you can see that it has uh, given us a detailed reply uh, on this last uh, prompt since you have come uh, this far let me give you some my own prompts for example if you are totally new on to the psx yet what you can ask him that how many sectors are there? How many sectors are there in PSX? Let's see uh, what does it um, say. So sometimes back when I asked uh, AI Copilot, it said it, it has PSX has 37 sectors. Today it is saying that PSX has 36 sectors. But anyways, 36 or 37, I'm just going to ask him list all of them. So you see that there were total of 37. That is why uh, I said that it has given us the wrong answer here. So uh, this kind of uh, small errors you can expect from the AI and that is why I would highly recommend that you should do your own uh, homework calls now i am going to ask him that order them in terms of their performance you can see that it has given us a one liner about each sector this is the importance of using an ai because if you would do your own research it will take you years to do that now let me show you uh, the secret recipe let's say we take one of the sector oil and gas marketing companies right i'm just going to select this oil and gas marketing companies so i have asked uh, ai that list all companies uh, that fall in the oil and gas marketing companies sector let's see now so i'm just going to ask him about the mari petroleum because i think mari petroleum also falls under this sector let's see what does it say you see it has missed this so this is what i'm saying that while a can help you but it can its information might be incomplete and sometimes uh, with minor uh, uh, with minor errors so now i'm going to ask uh, him give me top performers in this sector so as you can see that it has analyzed the top performance based on the price to earning ratio so for ogdc it said that with a price to earning ratio of 2.23 and a positive change of 0.33 in the stock price it has listed it as number one now what you can do is that um ask uh, him for the fundamental analysis of a particular company like so i have asked him give me fundamental analysis of ogdc this is extremely important because in the long term because if you want to invest uh, uh, for a long term in a company you should uh, analyze the fundamentals of that particular particular company if you want to uh, invest in a short term that you need to do the technical analysis for that particular company so it has i think uh, in detail uh, done the fundamental analysis i think it is not going to give me a response if i ask him to do the technical analysis but let's see so this time i have asked him give me technical analysis of ogdc let's see so it has done some bit of technical analysis also although they are not in depth but moving averages oscillators and pivot points it has discussed for this particular company also this in this video I have, I've just uh, tried to show you that how I am trying to learn the uh, stock market by using the AI uh, I if you have to go into the detail uh, or if you don't understand a particular term do not go anywhere ask the AI for example for example I ask him what is the price to earning ratio and you will see that you don't have to go anywhere just stay in this window and keep asking him just consider that it is your assistant or it is your mentor and uh, it knows more than you so anything that you do not know it know uh, this ai would know that so keep asking him and do not go anywhere else let there you can see that how beautifully it has explained everything it has also given you the formula that the price to earning ratio is market value per share and earning per share 
that's it so uh, if you have liked this video do uh, give uh, me your response uh, in the comment section and also um, do hit the like button because it helps in uh, circulating the uh, video uh, to the more people